Pause. Your knees are the largest joint in the body. They bear a lot of weight. They bear a lot of pounding. What causes knee pain? I would say the most common, especially if you're over age 50, is osteoarthritis. This is where the cartilage forms pits and cracks over time. Now your knees are tough and durable, but over time, the structures in the knee tend to wear down and you'll reach a point where you'll start getting symptoms. Other causes of knee pain include sprains and strains to the major ligaments of the knee, the ACL, the PCL, MCL, and LCL. These are basically the ligaments that connect your knee together and guide its movements. Now, if it's a complete tear, uh, your doctor will either tell you, advise surgical repair or let it go through the phases of healing, but then you're stuck with uh, loss of stability. Now, the main thing you should understand about soft tissue pain, soft tissue referring to ligaments, tendons, and cartilage, is that uh, that type of tissue is mostly non-living. It's, it's matrix. So we've got collagen fibers and elastin fibers, which are what enable some elasticity in these structures and, and resilience, like rebounding ability. So these collagen and elastin fibers are embedded in this matrix. It's got these large molecules that essentially um, maintain its structure and bind water. Sprinkled within the cartilage, ligaments and tendons are cells called fibroblasts and in the cartilage chondrocytes. These cells secrete the matrix and also can synthesize more collagen. But the numbers of these cells are so few that if you have, if you sustain a severe sprain, uh, it's kind of beyond the ability of those cells to really repair the thing. That's why uh, athletes, when they tear their tendons, it's often season ending because it, it takes several months for, the, for that to completely heal. And it oftentimes doesn't heal all the way. But there's one thing that has the potential to energize these fibroblasts and chondrocytes to increase their activity so that they can accelerate secreting the matrix and the protein, the collagen fibers. And that is red light therapy. If you're a current subscriber to my channel, you know that I'm a strong advocate of red light therapy. It's got a lot of research behind it. It helps the cells increase their metabolic rate, their energy production, their membrane potential, and these create optimal conditions for tissue healing. So if you're experiencing knee pain, consider looking into this device. This is a 96 LED red light therapy knee wrap. Each one of these little squares has three emitters. One emits 660 nanometers wavelength of visible red. That's the wavelength that the research shows can change the metabolic rate, the activity of these cells. The other two are 850 nanometer near infrared. So those wavelengths penetrate deeper and they generate heat. The heat vasodilates the blood vessels that increases blood flow to the injured tissues, which means more oxygen delivery, more nutrient delivery, and faster removal of waste products. This is what you want when you're trying to heal something. Now I'll show you how this thing works. It does require a power pack. It comes with this USB connector. You simply plug it in, in the back. You'll see the green power button light up as soon as you do that. You wrap it around your knee, and I'll have my assistant show you how that's done shortly. You press the button once, and it's just the 660 nanometer LEDs coming on. Press it again, and that brings in the two uh, infrared LEDs. And press it again, and it turns it all off. Now, if you press it while it's on and hold it down for five seconds, it puts it into pulse mode. Now, pulse mode, that helps uh, prevent the cells from accommodating. And what that is, is whenever cells are subjected to a therapeutic intervention, and not just red light therapy, but like electrical stem, ultrasound, uh, they can sometimes accommodate to the signal and the therapeutic effect kind of levels out but if you pulse it it extends that therapeutic benefit 
and because the cell can't accommodate. Either constant or pulsed is fine. I recommend if you're trying this for the first time, just use constant with uh, all three LEDs engaged. So that wraps it up. If you're experiencing knee pain, consider uh, looking into this. If you know anyone who's got problem knees, knee pain, please forward this video to them because this might be just a thing that's gonna help them. For more information on this product, just click the button in the upper right hand corner. Thanks for watching and see you soon.